And Eric Ten Hag has reiterated that Cristiano Ronaldo is in his plans for the season ahead. Let's go live to Melissa Reddy in Bangkok, uh, who is following United on their pre-season tour. Very good afternoon to you, Melissa. All right, uh, United have been training out there behind you. What, what did Eric Ten Hag have to say about Ronaldo? Like you've stated, he reiterated the club's stance that Cristiano Ronaldo is not for sale, very much part of his plans. The club have planned the campaign with him as their focal point of the attack. Very interesting, though, is he said he has spoken to Ronaldo, but not since the issue has arisen with his family situation and the news that he said that he wants to leave the club if a suitable offer has come in. So since that, no discussions have taken place between the manager and Ronaldo, which was a very fascinating element. But he said he just wants Ronaldo to concentrate on, on what he's currently dealing with and the club are calm about the situation. Yeah, OK. Um, there's, there's plenty of other stories, as always, circulating uh, around United, though. What news is there on Frankie de Jong and, and any other incomings? Well, the manager did speak today about needing to to still complete a lot of business. He said it's no secret that Manchester United are looking at midfield as one of their core areas to strengthen. We know that Frankie de Jong is his priority target. Obviously, that deal has significant complications because Barcelona owe him uh, backdated salaries that he took a cut due to COVID and they now owe him that money and it's working out how they compensate him. That's obviously out of, United ha uh, out of United's hands, those discussions. So the club are waiting to hear what happens there. Now, I have been asking, is there a point where you've got to walk away from the deal because it's dragging so long. They have said that they are looking at other options. We do know that Christian Eriksen is a deal they expect to complete soon, pending a medical. So the manager also mentioned actually that they're looking at offensive targets. He was asked if what happens with Ronaldo will affect what they try and do in attack. And he's mentioned again that Ronaldo is part of his plans. He had a good chat with Ronaldo before all this latest issues uh, arose and Ronaldo was really happy and really positive. And he said that they're planning for the transfer window and, and what they're intending to do. Ronaldo has no implication on it. Now, as we know with clubs and as we know with transfer windows, things always change. So one to look out there, but he did admit that he needs business to be done. He wants more signings over the line. And the quicker United can do that, the better, because he actually wants them to be involved in these sessions, which have been very intense, the players have been telling us. There we go. He's blowing his whistle there and giving his instructions.